Hello everyone, it's midnight and I'm just finishing up my night routine, if you will. I'm heading to sleep any minute now. I just sat down in front of my computer for the last few minutes because I was planning tomorrow, basically. I have quite a few things to do tomorrow. It's Wednesday, tomorrow will be Thursday. Just in case you didn't know, you're gonna have a productive day. So that's what this video is gonna be about. And I originally wanted to start filming like tomorrow morning with a fancy routine coffee and all of that stuff, but I figured that the first tip of having a productive tomorrow is to plan it today. I've already written down my priorities in my planner here. I have those priorities in my calendar. I'm actually traveling to my hometown tomorrow, which means that I have time until like 4 p.m. to get everything done or like almost everything. It's a two-hour drive, so I will have time then to still do something because I'm not the one driving. I'm terrified of driving. It's something we have to talk about one day, but it's, today's not the day. So it's gonna be intense. I like intense. Let me show you around in my calendar and planner. This is what a productive week looks like. I'm not planning everything in advance because I, I mean, I would like kill myself if I had to reschedule everything. And by planning day by day, I can just, you know, focus on the important things and move things around. This is where we're looking at. Thank you. So I have a few things from my morning routine that kind of get me going. Then I basically calendar blocked every item that I have to do. I've been rambling for seven minutes and I just really want to go to bed so good night I guess and I see you guys tomorrow it, it would be so funny if I like slept in and didn't film this video anymore and this would be just like a big failure why am I thinking like that good night <laughs> that sexy so it's currently 7 15 my phone is on not disturb until 12 and this way i can have a focused morning without notifications constantly popping in and distracting me basically so here's an extra tip for you guys that i didn't plan but other than that tip number two is waking up at a decent time 7 a.m may be late for so many people but it can also be too soon for many people if i want to have that seven to eight hours of sleep i have to wake up around seven and that's i did my math i like waking up at that time and it works for me waking up at a decent time the one that works for you combined with getting enough sleep it's the step number two to getting lots of shit done in a day <laughs> i'm gonna hit the bathroom now and basically continue with my morning routine i'll talk to you soon <laughs> breakfast there on the table. I'm having oats with some yogurt and protein powder and then yeah obviously bananas because I didn't have any other fruit. And here's my hot friend I was telling you about. <laughs> You're good there? I hope you are. When it comes to morning routines, I believe they have to be there. So that's the first thing. I believe you have to have a morning routine that sets the right tone for the day. That's the easiest way to actually show up for yourself every single day on the things that matter. I have a whole other video on that topic, so I'm gonna probably link it somewhere here if I don't forget, because that happens. And the main idea that I go with when setting a new routine is just that I think about how do I want to feel. First of all, I want to feel awake 
and alive second thing i want to feel happy and tuned in i want to tune in my energy be as positive as i only can be that's why i journal in the morning and i talked a little bit about my book of positive aspects it is a form of gratitude but i don't like that word i like appreciation so much better because when we talk about gratitude it almost feels like we're not deserving of those things we have and I believe we are deserving. I basically kind of try to manage my thoughts by finding better thoughts and therefore finding relief and feeling better. And that's the main tool I use to actually feel happy or happier every single day or whenever, you know, all hell breaks loose. And last but not least, I want to feel productive in the morning. And I achieve feeling productive by starting the first task on a list. I usually make myself a cup of coffee, either the first or already the second. And I just tell myself I'm gonna work on it as long as I drink my coffee. And it already makes me feel productive and makes me wanna tackle the items of the to-do list. And that's how I do it. Where I'm getting with it is that step number three is having a routine that puts you in the right state of mind and is relatively simple to do. And tip number four is just pour yourself a cup of coffee, it always helps. is to calendar block and I feel like I've already kind of explained why I think it's a great idea I used to dread the idea of doing something like this I tried it like once I think I just didn't really treat it seriously enough I thought I just it is just not for me I'm a rebel I'm never gonna stick to a schedule and it was all bullshit <laughs> I used to feel so bad and so guilty after seeing you know a list of tasks I wanted to do where half of them were not even started the reason this was happening to me constantly was because I didn't take into consideration the time it takes to complete those tasks and now when I put those things on my calendar I have to take that into consideration of course I could ignore it but it would be stupid so now I have a visual re representation of all of the things I want to achieve and how long they take and now tip number six is to stick to an overall plan but be flexible enough to make adjustments as you go don't get paralyzed by emergencies by things that show up but opportunities kicking on your door those things happen for a reason and life has to be lived as much as I love planning and it turns me on like nothing else does life can't be always planned we can have good intentions and that is absolutely enough so i will now make some small changes in my plan for it to work because i need some more time for outlining line here that means that I finished just in time now next on my list is editing and after that is finished I'm gonna put my face on and film the two videos I have been writing outlines for but first It's one hour later and I still haven't finished my coffee. See, that's why I always say that start by making a cup of coffee and work as long as you drink it. Because when you work, you drink slower and you end up working for an hour, just like I am right now. I will have to add another block to my calendar. I'm doing this right now, multitasking, you see? See what I'm doing here? Actually, vlogging is multitasking. So I'm slightly late for my filming session, but it's okay. For some reason, I forgot to check all things as done in my planner. So I'm gonna do this now because this is a very satisfying moment. Ooh, yes. This is the, the, all the videos about me planning are way too sexual. 
have to calm my tits there we are again wait what was i doing here wait what huh okay i fucked up at some point and i don't know okay i was making coffee here why are we talking let's talk about priorities here one more time from a different angle basically whenever i plan my day i start by listing out my priority in my bullet journal i have like my priorities uh, and then i have a den list and the den list is just freaking crazy and this is what my to-do list was like every single day for the past 20 years on this planet and it has not worked that well let me tell you that but that being said i think it's important to have options if for some reason you can get that priority done it's good to do something else that also has to get done but maybe it's not as time related as the other things are it's good to have backup because there are always things that we have to do wasting that precious time thinking what task should i do next is well wasting your time and it's stupid so don't do that <laughs> i'm gonna put my face on and take you through my youtubing process uh, my whiteboard there in the background if you're curious i'm gonna show you it in a second and we're gonna talk about batching there's like a hundred tons in the city so it might take a while but not to worry because i know all the best spots not the bougie places with the hundred dollar rooftops i might be i might be a tall guy in a city i might be we might be hi now that this is done I will talk about batching for a second. First of all, this is my favorite thing in my room. And I'm only kind of kidding. So the first section of this masterpiece are the videos I already filmed in a roll. Every sticky note is basically a video idea. And if I crossed something off, it means that this video is also already filmed, but it has already been edited. This is this video. And then I have other two coming that I'm filming today. All of the other videos are in the planning mode and here i have just some good ideas that being said wait you're so unstable like can you chill okay if you're not a content creator there are many other things you can batch to have a productive day when you start doing something and then go and do other things and then come back to it and then do other things it's just always this preparation phase before you start being the most productive you so the more you do something in a row the more in a zone you are and the more productive your work actually is so it's best to schedule a block of times when you're actually going to be batching the things you're willing to do it can be cleaning making calls answering emails whatever is going on in your life i'm gonna go now and film some videos and then i have two more tips for you I'm finished filming for today. I'm gonna take out my SD card. This is a very uncomfortable position. I'm taking this. Yes, and it goes up there. There are two other things I want to do today. I just wanna fold my laundry finally because, okay, um, it's like definitely a thing on this channel that I have this chair and it's always full. And I try not to do that, but it happens on its own. I probably just own too many clothes. Tip number nine that I have for you is to have productive breaks. The less you rest, the less productive you are, the quicker the burnout is. And we don't need that kind of drama in our lives. So in those breaks, you should still do something that is relatively productive. So if you spend hours sitting in front of your computer, you should probably have breaks that create some kind of movement to actually energize you in a way. If you are working from home, it is a good idea to spend 15 minutes just cleaning around, I don't know, your desk, your kitchen, whatever, just to kind of get that energy flowing again and also not think about your work too much. Things like cleaning, reading, going on a walk, we are still in some kind of a zone, but it takes our mind off the work and that's how we are resting if your breaks look like watching netflix or youtube videos but i will be bold enough to say that it's just not a good idea for the majority of people because simply put we get lazy and it's harder to get back into the zone of working on our things <laughs>
car already and I have my laptop with me and I will edit some videos on the way because as I said I'm not the one driving and that's a great moment to tell you guys my last tip which is use all of your time slots if you can the drive to my hometown takes two hours and it's a perfect time for me to actually like get a video done or work on a project it's it's a lot of time i wrote majority of my college assignments while in an uber and i pride myself in that if commuting somewhere takes 30 minutes or even 20 minutes it is a good time to do something thank you for sticking with me on this productive day and i hope the tips were helpful and i have to get going have an amazing day i love you more than i love coffee and life is a story so make it a good one Bye guys!